All right, guys, so this video is an introduction to trigonometry, which you guys will probably learn in geometry or algebra two. So let's begin. So you're gonna learn this famous phrase, so ka toa, right here, S-O-H-C-A-H-T-O-A. So what does so ka toa mean? So sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, but what does that even mean? So let's look at this triangle right here, and it has to apply for right triangle, and a preferred item to have is a graphing calculator or any calculator when doing trig. So what you wanna do is find the right triangle and find a specific specific side, right? Or a specific angle. And then in this case, I'm gonna use angle A, which is right here. So sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So opposite is Y, as this is opposite of the angle, over hypotenuse and as you guys know this right here is the hypotenuse hypotenuse is opposite of the right triangle i mean right angle so we have y over z y over z and then next we have cosine which is adjacent over hypotenuse so i'm also going to use angle a in this case right adjacent is the side right next to it so the side right next to it is x over the hypotenuse which is z so x over z which we have right here and lastly, we have tangent, which is opposite over adjacent. So tangent is opposite over adjacent. So it's y over x. Yeah, that's an x. I wrote that wrong. So that's a y over x. Y over x. All right, guys. So try this example right here. So what is sine of a? I'll give you guys, actually, I'll give you guys 10 seconds or so if you guys want to pause the video. But if not, you guys can just watch as I do this. So what's sine of A? This is angle A right here, right? So sine is right here, opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite over hypotenuse. So that's 4 over 5. Sin cosine of A is adjacent over hypotenuse. 3 over 5. And lastly, we have tangent of A. Opposite over adjacent so the answer for this is four over three so you guys can try for angle b pause the video if you guys have to do it but let me begin so sine of b so this is angle b right here so sine is oh i meant to do angle c yeah it's supposed to be angle c guys i don't know i wrote that wrong all right guys change all the b's to the c's so pause the video if you guys have to and do it again so angle C is this one right here. So opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite over hypotenuse. 3 over 5. Then we have cosine. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. 4 over 5. And lastly, we have tangent of C, which is opposite over adjacent. So that's 3 over 4. And that's these are the basics of Sokatoa and the foundation of trigonometry. And next we have a word problem, which is pretty fun to do sometimes. So let me read the word problem. So question one, from a point on the ground, 47 feet from the foot of a tree, the angle of elevation of the top of the tree is 35 degrees. Find the height of the tree to the nearest foot. So how are you guys gonna visualize this? Usually you wanna draw a right triangle like this, and then they're asking for this. So the point on the ground is 47 feet, from the foot of the tree. So let's call this the tree, right? BC represents the tree and A is the point, right? A is the point where you're looking from. So the length is 47 feet away and they, given, they gave you the angle of elevation, which means this right here is 35 degrees. So using your new Soka Toa skills, they're gonna ask you to find the length of BC, which I'll call X. So how are you gonna do this? You're given all this information, but how are you gonna use it? Um, if you guys need, I'll give you guys 10 seconds to think of a plan and I will begin. So basically what you're gonna do, I'm gonna get my calculator out. Okay, so what you're gonna do is this. You're gonna do sine, right? Sine, because you're gonna need opposite, right? They're gonna ask you to find, oh no, you're not gonna use sine, you're gonna use tan. Why use tan? Because given this angle, opposite over adjacent, right? And tan, what is tan equal to? Opposite over adjacent. 
So that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna do 10 of 35 is equal to, what is 10? Opposite over adjacent. So this is X over 47. So 10 of 35 degrees is equal to four, I mean, is equal to X over 47. So what are you gonna do to calculate X? Multiply both sides by 47, right? So I'm gonna use my calculator to show you guys what I just did. So there, I just did 10 of 35, 10 of 35 times 47, right? And that gives me an answer of 32.91, right, feet. So that is gonna be your answer for this equation. And that is it. So that's a word problem, a pretty simple one. And this is how you're gonna do the basics for trigonometry. Thanks for watching guys. And I will probably do a much harder version of trigonometry. So goodbye guys.